Hi, my name is Michael, or you can call me MBL Designs, and it's time for another haul video. And today I've got something really, really cool to show you guys. So, about a week ago, I actually looked through Facebook on uh, one of the sales groups I'm uh, a member of, which is a Lego buy and sell group within Sweden. And yeah, people normally post like minifigures they have for sale or sets or all kinds of stuff, anything Lego basically. And I found something really cool which I have right in here. But before that, I'm going to show you guys the photos that were posted. I'm going to cover up the name tag that the seller used, but these were the pictures that I saw. And at first I really couldn't really believe what I was seeing and then I read the description and I still couldn't fucking believe what I was reading and then I saw something. So in this post we can see the 1966 Batcave, the big UC or not uses but direct to consumer set from Lego that was released in like 2016, 17, somewhere around there. Yeah, it cost like over $200. And there it was. Looked complete. He did say that the set wasn't com uh, completely complete. There were some missing pieces. But the figures were included. And immediately when I read that, I looked at the price again. And this was a bidding, so anyone could bid on it. It had a starting bid of 600 kroner, which is basically 60 bucks. And I thought, just for the pieces, that's worth it. 60 bucks for those pieces are just worth it right there. But he did say that he had the minifigures. But as you could see in those photos, the minifigures were nowhere to be seen. So I asked him... Do you have a picture of the minifigures? And he answered with a picture of the minifigures, which made me even more happier. And immediately when he posted it, I made an offer, which was the starting bid, 600 kroner, which is basically 60 bucks. And the bid would be lasting for uh, 24 hours if nobody bid higher than me. I win. Nobody bid it against me, which made me so fucking happy because the bidding were about to end like an hour into my shift at work. So I wasn't able to look at my Facebook during like that hour before the bid actually ended. So someone could have swooped in in the last hour bid more than me. And I think the like next bid was like 50 kroners uh, more or something like that, which is like five bucks. Um, so I was a bit nervous, but I went on break, saw on my phone that I had won the bid. And that is what I have in here because the seller is from Stockholm as well. So I just met, in a, I met him up. Instead of having it delivered to me and paying that extra money, I actually met up with him and got it right here. So I'm going to show over to what's actually in the bag. So I'm going to flip the camera now so you guys can see what I actually got. So this is the bag I got. And inside of here, I did get the instructions which they are a bit crinkled up, but they look to be complete. But also on the inside right here, he was nice enough to actually give me a list of all the pieces that were missing, according to his description. So for example, the discs that you get for the Batcave are missing, but then he also got the pages of the instruction book, uh, the number of step, description of the actual part, 
the amount of the actual piece, and then also directions on, for example, the pieces right here are for the car. And that was just above and beyond anything that I would have thought he would actually do. So I was really happy about that because he just, he just said that he made a list of all the pieces that were missing and I thought that he, it was like handwritten or anything like that, but this was above and beyond and I'm really thankful for that. But taking a look inside, we do have probably the most important bag right here. These are the minifigures. They are all here. Yes, this is worth six, even more than 600 uh, kroner. So I'm beyond happy about having these. And it was mainly so I could get the Adam West Batman and Burt Ward Robin. Because I'm at the moment trying to collect all of the live action Batmans. And this was the one I was missing. Next one on my list is Michael Kidd and Batman coming in the upcoming uh, 1989 Batmobile. Uh, which I'm going to get on the 29th on the release date. Uh, hopefully in the future, even though the movies aren't really that... Um, well liked, I'm hoping that we will sometime get George Clooney and also Val Kilmer's Batman just to complete the whole thing with all of the live action Batman and at the moment I'm just counting the um, um, yeah, the movies that's been released in theaters and yeah, not counting the black and white serials with Batman for example but taking a look inside of here, he has actually divided it up a bit. So we have big plates right here. So we have the landing pad, a bit of the Wayne Manor and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. We have another bag of just the bigger parts. Um, dark tan or tan pieces right here. I'm really glad that he actually sorted all of the parts so then we have this looks to be like the Wayne Manor uh, and a bit of the actual car as we can see there uh, so a bit of a mixed bag right there but no worries I'm going to build it nonetheless this looks to probably be hmm some TNT uh, from Minecraft uh, <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, some other Minecraft parts right there. Uh, a torch and the TNT, of course. Um, I, I'm a bit curious about that, but um, I'll remain to see because this, I haven't built it as you saw in the photos. It was built. He sorted all of the pieces. And it will be my opportunity to then later on build it. So we we'll have some more of the parts for the Wayne Manor. For example, the printed part right here, which is really cool. Let's see. Here we have some of the like gray pieces and yeah, the poles that they go down. This makes me also curious because it looks like we'll have three of them when there's only two of them in the set. Maybe there was a spare, I have no clue. Uh, then another bag of yes, dark tan pieces. Um, so, in my opinion, I did not really like the set when it was announced. Because I really felt that this whole thing is really, really not good. As you can see, it's just a big plate right here. Same goes for here. And you can even see like the Technic uh, pillars on the side right there. The only part I really liked of the whole set was the Wayne Manor up here. The wall on the back side to recreate uh, how... Uh, Batman and Robin climbed the walls. 
in the middle section here with the back computer and then all of the vehicles and minifigures. That was the only thing that interested me when this set was released. And I was not interested in buying it for, yeah, like 2,000 Swedish kroner over, yeah, over $200, I think it was, something around those lines. And even when it uh, came out on sale at the Lego store for like half off, I wasn't even interested then. But then later on, looking at the minifigures, I really wanted to get all of these minifigures. Uh, but yeah, it just wasn't worth it. And I am so, so happy right now because just getting these is more than enough for me. And the thing I'll do is I'll build the whole bat cave and the vehicles and everything I can. I will exchange the parts that was listed on the paper because I looked through the list. I think I have all of the pieces in my collection. So I'm going to look through for that. But I'll return when I've finished building this and give you guys a minor review, I guess. So stay tuned. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm now finished the back cave and it took a lot longer than I thought it would. So I started yesterday evening and finished now in the morning, a bit before 10 a.m. So it took me a while actually. And the main reason was because all of the pieces were not sorted in a regular way to say the least. So the thing I had to do was sort them by either size or basically color. And that took a while longer. Um, as I knew going into this purchase, there are missing pieces and there are some pieces that I will have to get in afterwards. For example, this light bluish gray hinge piece right here is supposed to be in black. So stuff like that, for example. And the bad cave itself are missing like maybe in between five to ten pieces so nothing major and considering the fact that i may not have this in this state for very much longer it doesn't really matter to me so the most important thing for me was the minifigure which i've already put with all my other 1966 minifigures like king tut, uh, king tut eggman and mr freeze so i have that complexion um, I have that collection complete and all of the vehicles. So for example, I have the motorcycle there as well. And yeah, that was my main objective. I really like this one jet and also on the back, the wall that they climb up. And I'm really to happy to have that, but I'll see how long I will actually have that intact. Uh, considering that I'm going to buy the 1989 Batmobile soon as well. So I'm a bit crammed for space right now. Um, but I'm really happy to have all of the vehicles because that will really, really help me later on when uh, building my own Batcave. Because I want to collect all of the live action Batmobiles Lego made and also all of the live action Batmans which I'm almost complete now, only missing Michael Keaton, which hasn't been released yet. And yeah, um, going in, as I said, I knew stuff were missing and thankfully I had this list. The list wasn't too accurate. For example, on some pages it said that uh, a piece was missing, but then I actually found it here. And then some cases... Um, yeah, I had the piece in my collection if it was missing, so I could actually finish building it, for example. Um, but the really interesting thing is what we have to decide right here. This is extra part that parts that doesn't go anywhere. So, for example, we have this, which in this color doesn't even show up in this set. It shows up in... 
light bluish gray, which I have an extra of as well. Uh, but then also we have a few things right here, which doesn't really belong. So uh, three TNT blocks, and then we have this build, which I think is from another Minecraft set as well, and some Minecraft torches also. So that was interesting to say the least. Uh, I'm not complaining because I have extra parts now that I can use for something else. But I'm just really happy that I actually got this set for such a steal. And yeah, I couldn't be happier about that. And yeah, I don't really have much else to say about the... Uh, oh, sorry. <coughs> I don't really have much else to say about... Uh, the haul I did today, I'm just really happy that it was mostly complete. There are a few things I have to buy in secondly, which is, for example, I'm missing one of the printed pieces right here. And then the stickers are somewhat applied good, and some of them are really not, but I'm also missing some of them. So this sticker is supposed to be on the other side as well. So I'm going to have to buy a sticker sheet as well, which isn't too bad. Uh, I'm really picky when it comes to applying stickers, so that's something that uh, I justify really easily. But yeah, I'm really happy about this. So please uh, comment down below if you've ever had a really good purchase or anything like that. Because in my opinion, this is one of the best purchases I've ever made. For that price, it's just insane. Um, but please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching.